So yeah, so I'll talk about like stability for uh, like fundamentals in a sense. So this is some uh, driver's work we query driven, which also uh, must say is kind of work in progress, and that's we're still fiddling with the optimal way to really uh, present the results. But uh, the theorems are pretty good. In a sense. Uh, I also must mention that uh, there is some quite related work by uh, Damash. And uh, also, I'll speak about this a bit later, but uh, some similarities have also been developed by uh, Antonio Trusiani independently. So I'll be, uh, I'll be speaking about that. Uh, okay. but so this is the first uh, talk post lunch talk, so um, I'll uh, start with some history. So the starting point is that we uh, pick a compact, complex, relative manifold X, and so we want to understand uh, some conditions that ensure when our garage time matrix on it. So, sorry, please. Start with the definition. So, a garage time metric is a garage metric which is actually time, so it means that uh, it's, it's proportional to its uh, curvature. So, uh, for such a metric to exist, we first uh, need some topological function to be satisfied. So, the uh, function class of Kx, so Kx here is the uh, canonical bundle. Uh, which is just minus the virtual class of the uh, So this class must be signed, otherwise there cannot be uh, So the class of Kx needs to be proportional. And because scaling doesn't really matter, we can usually take the uh, lambda to be minus 1 to 1. That's the first thing. And so uh, finding a solving some equation. And so the way to formulate this equation is that uh, we want to find a metric omega, which is for sure correct of some uh, sorry, well, some yeah, metric in general. Find a current time which is going to be a potential, uh, which satisfies that this model operator is defined current time for n is equal to some Times uh, this thing, uh, which I call the exponential of lambda by Kronach time, which is really uh, a volume form. So, locally, it's really just taking the local potentials of the metrics, taking exponential lambda, then the local coordinates. This matches very nicely to a volume form. So, the uh, Kronach equation is uh, solving this business. So, uh, historically, the k is lambda equals 1. So and the people rise case, which means that Kx is a whole. Uh, that was solved a long time ago. So that was solved by Alba, 76, and the other 78. And so in this case, uh, there are no obstructions. So there always exists the garage time matrix. On X, in the case of Alba equals 0, so the Calabia case, um, by Yao again, so that was part of why he got his uh, field medal. Um, uh, he also showed that. Uh, there are no exceptions to the existence of current time metrics. So, in the other case, uh, such metrics always exist as well. Uh, the situation is much more complicated in the uh, 
papers which have 
you solve the equation, you bring just something with minimal similarities, and so this means that you control the similarities of the metric. But in this case, the similarities of the metric are also determined by some algebraic things related to x. So this yeah. it really means that the uh, asymptotic base locus of x is not too So the, to define the possibility, I need to define notion of test configurations. So the idea is that uh, case stability is kind of uh, infinite dimensional version of JIT stability. And JIT stability, to test the stability of a point, you take one parameter subgroup acting on your point and you look at some the sign of some uh, invariant at infinity attached to it. And so we need to define a sort of uh, notion of one parameter subgroup, but for Manifolds, in a sense, because you can see this point in the general space. Uh, and the correct notion for that is the notion of a test configuration. So, in the classical setting, uh, a test configuration is just uh, so a scheme over uh, a family, uh, which is really a scheme over P1.
let's do better belief. Yeah, so you can make, you can formalize it in a sort of way. So yeah, so if you prefer a few of sections, but then you also ask that to it is associated in a time model, so you ask that it's invertible and um, that this coincides with L, the weak minus kx. So, face factory. Ah, so, sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, so if you want, so if you if you want to see, uh, so you could want to see a y as a sheet, and then you push it forwards. Yes. You actually just have to push forward this invertible, and actually it coincides with the sheet as a sheet. Subjective corrective morphism, which has connected fibers. But really, you want to think of this as a. And so, if we have something like this, then uh, there is an observation you treat as a Trapani Flores, which says that we have an identification of positive matrix on the line model uh, upstairs and on the line of So, we can work in the same way.
was the convexity. So I'll add some convexity, but I'll also add some uh, conjectural parts uh, about the toric case. So classically, if uh, x is a toric funnel, so there's a densest uh, toric section on x, minus the x is uh, ample and uh, linearized. So then the YCD conjecture was uh, solved way earlier uh, by Wangju, Juju, and then Herman Bernstein in some more functional case, I guess. Uh, and so they show that uh, case to build here is if you want a recent one, so really explicit uh, convex geometric condition. So x minus kx toric defines a point up. And uh, then it is case stable if only if the associated pointer uh, has as very center the origin. That's a complete uh, convex geometric description. So we can ask what happens in the big case. So in the big case, there is a construction of the polytop, but it's not really satisfactory. We can't, for example, reconstruct x from the polytop, so x and the polarization minus kx from the polytop. Um, so what I think might happen is that uh, we can blow up the base loop psi of the of minus kx and its powers, and because the base loop psi has this subjectivity property, in a sense we have a direct system of polytopes, which should really be an inclusion of polytopes, along with the stability that. And um, so some work of an material and physical goes uh, studies this sort of systems of polytopes and uh, which really arise as toric p divisors in a sense. And so I think that um, the limit of a system of polytopes that we obtain by doing that uh, should be a convex body, so it should be a limit of polytopes in just a convex set. So is this part of the conjecture? It's a, it's a fact. So, so sorry. Is this uh, part of the conjecture? Everything in, uh, in green is conjectural. Everything in green is conjectural. Except so, so there are not in this. Yeah, it exists. Yeah. So now we start with the conjecture. So the green one. Green one. Ah, yes. So this uh, part of the slides. Oh, yeah. Everything from here on. This yeah, sorry. It's So, so we have a limit of polytopes, so it would just be a convex body, so compact to sets. Uh, which should be, I think, an open curve body. Um, so open curve bodies appear when you try to do the algebraic reconstruction of the moment polytope, but you don't actually have a, an action. And so you just uh, evaluate sections against some valuation and then rescale, and you obtain some quite bad uh, convex body. Understand the boundary, for example. Um, it should have the same volume as L because uh, that's really a Fujita approximation. And uh, I was also thinking about this uh, proscribed singularities case, and in this case, uh, this goes to some work of Ming Chen, who defines open curve bodies when you uh, work with proscribed singularities in a sense. And I think that's this limit of system of polytopes in that case should recover. Say. 